In addition to choosing normals, you can also choose mesh type to be exported, either render mesh or control mesh. Exporting the render mesh will export the smoothed surface as you see it here. When brought into another program, for example, this is Blender, you will see the surface appear nice and smooth. But if we enter into edit mode, we can see the exported surface is actually made up of several small polygons and is quite complex. While this is great for rendering, the complexity makes it difficult to continue modeling with. Thus, the render mesh option should be used if you intend to go straight to rendering. Exporting the control mesh will export the unsmoothed raw polygon data, essentially the box mode mesh. Here we see a control mesh of the same model imported into Blender. Using the control mesh makes it easy to continue modeling as you can re-subdivide the surface using the native subd tools in other programs. For example, in Blender, you can use the subd modifier to re-subdivide this mesh.